Mm, oh my goodness. Folks, today on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel, we're going to show you how to take the cheapest cut of meat and make the best steak you've probably ever had in your mouth. Oh, it's so good. Mm. I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. What does steak and this thing and a grill have to do with eating good? Come along today on the channel. We're going to show you guys a different way to cook a steak that you've probably never heard of or never tried. And I'm telling you, you're going to have the most gourmet, delicious steak you've ever had in your life. You'll stop cooking steak altogether any other way. Sous vide. That's what today is all about. That's what this is. Let's have some fun. Folks, welcome back to the Stony Ridge Farm. If this is your first time or your 50 millionth time here, please hit that like button. Today, we're gonna talk about cooking steaks. Now, these are farm fresh steaks right here off the Stony Ridge Farm. And what we're gonna be doing is a heated marinade cook. And I'll explain all that to you. What we're gonna use is a technique called sous vide. And if you've never heard of sous vide, it's basically a uh, way of cooking in water. We take our food, we put it in a water bath, and then we sear it off in the grill. So you're gonna get to see some cool equipment for your kitchen and for your backyard grilling area today. And we're gonna teach you how to use a sous vide. And we're gonna taste this awesome, delicious steak. Now, this steak is not a very good cut. It is a sirloin. It is probably the worst cut of steak. It says marinate because it's gonna to be tough. When we get done, it's not gonna to be tough. It's gonna to be absolutely delicious. And this steak is gonna cook for about six hours. So what we have here <laughs> is the worst cut of steak that you can get. This is pretty much the sirloin, the worst. It says marinate when you buy it in the store because you're gonna to need to marinate it or it's gonna be like uh, meat flavored chewing gums. <laughs> Our goal with this is to take this steak and make it into something that tastes like a ribeye. And these are already vacuum sealed right here. I just did these and I just seasoned them exactly the way that we're gonna do and that's what they look like. These are ribeyes and I'm actually gonna let them marinate in the refrigerator overnight. So these are not getting cooked today. They're gonna marinate in the fridge overnight. These are gonna get cooked. We've got three things at work here. We have a vacuum sealer. This is called a, uh, oh, what is it called? Food saver. So this is a food saver vacuum sealer. This is the sous vide tray that we're gonna use. This is the actual sous vide, and sous vide is just simply cooking in water, okay? So we're gonna set this to 133 degrees. We're looking for a medium rare uh, cook on this, and we're gonna cook these steaks for around two to six hours. It just kind of depends on what time you have on your hands. You can actually start this thing in the morning before you go to work and come home at six o'clock and have your steaks cooking for eight hours. And you want to talk about tender and juicy. Mm, my mouth is watering. So the way this works is you program a temperature and there's a water circulator right down in here. This sits down in water. You don't have to have this fancy tray over here, but it's very, very helpful. It keeps it from evaporating. You can just clip this on the outside of a pot. That's what it's designed to do, to clip right on the outside and circulate the water. So this is simply a water circulator. After we sous vide, we're gonna take you outside real quick. We're gonna go out to the grill and I've got a new grill that I've been testing out and it's really working great. It's gonna look a little dirty because I've been using it. That's what you want. You don't want the guy showing you a brand new grill. So let's go outside and take a look. This is called the Weber Q. This is a tiny little grill. There are two different types of bottles. It's a gas grill that you can use. Basically all you do is you turn this on to ignite. You hit the button and it's started. Okay, we want our temperature to come on up here to close to 500 degrees uh, prior to using this. And you can see right now we're cooking off some of the greases from the last steak. We're not gonna be searing it off for several hours now. We'll go ahead and turn this off. This is called the Weber Q. I'll post a link to all this stuff down in the video description. This is an awesome little backyard grill. Now I've got a great big Traeger right here and I've got a smaller Traeger right here, but for searing steaks at really high temperature, this is the ticket right here, guys. This thing works great. And you can take it with you. Simply folds up just like so. You can put it in the back of your car, take it to the beach, do whatever you want to, cook some hot dogs, however you want to do it. You also have the option of using the small propane 
canister or the larger propane right here with an adapter. So really, really cool. Weber Q, that is the name of this thing. They come in multiple different colors. So if you have a small house or a small family and you need to cook for two, three, or four people, the Weber Q is the, <laughs> it's the trick, man. I love that thing. We'll see that in action in just a minute. Let's show you how we season the steaks and put them in our vacuum sealed bag. So I've got the Anova app right here and there are also some awesome cooking instructions in here. I've never used those cooking instructions, but I do use them for cooking meat. So what it suggests right here is for a medium rare steak, 130 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. We're actually gonna dial that down to 129.5. Yep, you can get that tight with your temperature, 129.5 and we're gonna do it for a four hour cook today. So it'll be awesome, delicious, and it'll be ready by about 4.35 o'clock because I got a live stream to do later, move the cows. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys, that's the app on the phone, nothing super special. Here is how I do the seasoning and it's super, super simple. Before we start seasoning this wonderful steak, we're gonna go ahead and place our Anova sous vide. This is not a sponsored video, guys. This is a specialty lid special made for the sous vide and this is how you get your steaks back out you can cook anything in this you can cook chicken potatoes anything brisket all sorts of stuff so we'll simply slide this guy down in you have a minimum water mark and a maximum water mark slide that dude in make sure it fits just right tighten that down we're going to go ahead and start getting our temperature just right plug this critter in right over here just wakes up, okay. 102.7 is the current water temperature because I got water out of the sink and I use nice warm water. I do like to place this on a towel because I don't want to risk delaminating my countertop. So I will lift that back and place it on the towel here in just a second as soon as we set the temperature. So here's our temperature, 108 degrees. 134.5 is what I cooked that last time. We'll dial this guy down to 129.5. We'll hit the play button. It says the water level is low. Don't worry, the water level is gonna be low until you put your food in there. There are three or four things that we always use for seasoning. We have granulated garlic right here. We have black pepper. We have onion powder, which I like to use most of the time. And we have a coarse grain salt right here. This is just coarse grain salt. All I'm gonna do is fairly liberally Sprinkle this coarse grain salt on first. Okay, and we're gonna do both sides of this. So salt's immediately gonna start pulling moisture from the meat right here. It's gonna pull it up. If you want less salt, just use less salt. Very, very simple, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use some of our granulated garlic. We're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of granulated garlic on there, just like so. And we're gonna use a tiny bit of onion powder Okay, you could use garlic salt. You can season to any sort of seasoning you like. If you wanna use like Lowry's seasoning salt, you're welcome to do that too. And we're gonna hit it with black pepper. Fairly heavy with black pepper. Okay, simply press that in. And we wanna make sure we get the sides also. So we're gonna turn it up on its side and we're gonna capture all that yumminess. That's right there on our cutting board. Flip it over, same thing here. Salt and do it the same. Now, you might be looking at this steak and thinking, man, that doesn't look super, super red. Well, guys, I actually like to let my steaks sit in the fridge until they get a little turn to them, okay? They turn just a little bit, um, a little bit gr of grayage. Uh, doesn't really hurt me, has never hurt me, and it simply makes it absolutely delicious. So there's our onion powder. There's our granulated garlic or garlic powder we can use, either one, or you can just put a garlic clove in and then we'll put our black pepper on again. Press that in and now we're gonna go over to our bags. So our sous vide is gonna go right back here. There we go. On our dish towel, just like so. We are running. We're gonna open that lid up and have it ready to go ahead and place our steaks in there. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to use the food saver. Turn on the food saver. If you don't have a vacuum sealer, you're just not living right. We're going to the moist. I'm gonna open this guy up, just like so. There we go. And I've already prepared a couple bags. You can buy the bags pre-made or you can buy them in a roll right here, just like that. And you can roll off whatever you want and make your own bags. 
Uh, this is a vacuum sealer. So in other words, it goes up in there. There's a sealer that will put this uh, little sealed edge on there. And we want to double seal each seam. All right, so we don't get any of the water from the sous vide into our delicious steak. You ask five different people, they'll give you five different ways to do this, but we're gonna simply slide this into our bag, simply and carefully, all the way back in there, tuck him back in the corner right there, and we can actually get both steaks in one bag. Some people prefer to only do one steak per bag, okay? It's not gonna hurt a thing. We'll pack both steaks in here, slide that cutting board out of the way, now we're ready to rock and roll. We want to make sure that our bag is nice and clean right in here so that we get a good seal. Okay, so sometimes you got to go in with a paper towel and get some of the salt and grit out of there. All right, again, I'm not advocating for any specific brand, but I will post links to everything that I'm using. This is an older food saver, but it works great. I think food saver is probably one of the best brands for uh, vacuum sealers. So we're going to press that in. It'll engage. Get all the air out. See that? There we go. It's sealing right now, so it vacuumed and now it's sealing. Okay, now that we've sealed one time, you can get this out and you can see what your seam looks like. We've got a little ripple right there, but everything looks pretty good. We're actually going to do one more good seal on there. Okay, it's released. We've got a good seal here. Everything's looking pretty good. So we're gonna go right over into our sous vide. Just this simple, guys. Pop the top, just like that. Lay in your steaks, or whatever it is you're cooking. And I like to leave a little bit of that lip up so I can access the bag without having to dip my hands in the water. And that's it. I will say that if you're gonna be in the house, you might as well set the timer. Right here's the timer. four hours and we'll start that should start the countdown so once it reaches temperature it'll start counting down the four hours so that'll cook at 129.5 degrees for around four hours there's no exact science to this you can cook it for two hours you can cook it for five hours you can cook it for eight hours play with it learn it learn your sous vide that's what a sous vide is and this is going to infuse those flavors into those not so desirable cuts of meat and make ourselves some delicious, awesome steaks. And we're gonna put the really delicious ones in because I have a date coming tomorrow night, so we're gonna feed her right. We'll see you guys in four hours. All right guys, so it's been about four hours, just about four hours, and our timer is about to go off right here. As you can see, we've got three minutes left, and this is what everything looks like. Just looks like steak in a bag, <laughs> pretty much. Um, we'll give it just a minute. We've gotta go start the grill. Now for searing our steaks off, we wanna get this thing really, really hot. So around the 500 degree mark, it's gonna be on for about 10 minutes here. We are going to lay our steak on, let it sear for one minute, flip it, let it sear for one minute. And while it's searing, that's the secret. You guys are gonna to get to see the secret. And I have electrical tape on my finger because I cut it. <laughs> it's the best Band-Aid, farm Band-Aid, right? So give us just a minute. We're gonna take these out of the uh, sous vide, show you what they look like, and get them on the grill with some butter because butter makes it better. Do not expect these steaks to look delicious when they come out of here. They just don't. <laughs> they look brown and they look weird, okay? They just look a little bit strange, all right? Be sure we rinse that bag out before we put it in the trash, but this is what they look like when they come out of the sous vide. Okay, we'll get a good close up and we'll cut into this and show you that they are rare inside. Now this might seem a little bit ridiculous, but we are gonna pat them dry. So we're gonna show you what it looks like before I put it on the grill. And it's already almost so tender, you can just pull it apart here. Okay, and there it's about medium well, all right? I like, a very cooked steak. I don't like a raw steak, but you can cook it raw. You just need to shorten your amount of time. I guess you can cook it a little more rare, just shorten your amount of time. That's still pretty rare in there, 
It's just a little brown. So don't expect the sous vide steak to be exactly like a steak you would just slap on the grill, turn it a couple times and be done. If you like it rarer, then you don't have to cook it in here for so long, or you can drop the temperature down from 129.5, you could drop it down to 125 and cook it for four or five hours. I like it to cook an extra long time because it just, it just makes my mouth water. It absorbs all the flavor is so much better and marinating it overnight prior to putting it in the sous vide really works good. So we're gonna wait on our grill, get our butter ready and get this thing cooking. Steak cam. <laughs> awesome guys. So you see, I've got four pats of butter right here and those four pats are ready to rock and roll. I also like to drop my fork if I possibly can. Our temperature's just over 400 degrees. It'll get hotter. It is on the upswing right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open her up. We're gonna plop these guys on here, just like so. Let me give them one minute. You can see our temperature has started rising right here and we are just about at the one minute mark. I set a timer on my phone, just like that. I'll repeat this timer and I set the timer for one minute, 20 seconds. So I have enough time to flip my delicious steak. Look at that. Oh man, that's awesome. Now we're gonna put our butter pats on there, just like so, just like that. Break them up just a little bit. Okay, cover it back up. And the timer's going again. What you gotta remember guys is that the steaks are completely cooked here. They're, they're not raw, they're not rare, they're just right. They're completely cooked. You could eat it right out of the sous vide, but what you're trying to do is get that sear, get that bark, get that crust, and let that steak release some of those sugars and get crunchy and delicious. So we're gonna leave it for a minute, then we're gonna flip it. Don't worry, you're not eating all this butter. It's gonna run off of the steak. Check it out. We're starting to change here. <laughs> Our alarm is just about to go off. We're back up to 400. We're gonna repeat our timer one more time. Look at that, oh daddy, look at that. that. Butter looks delicious. Flip it, got some flameage going on there. It's all good, baby. That's what we want. Reach over here, get a couple more pats of butter. Lay them right on top of the steak, just like so. Don't worry about the butter. Again, you're not gonna eat the entire amount of butter. One more minute. And that steak is ready for that plate. Oh, we're getting smoky, baby. We're almost there. Timer. Go, go, go. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's our beautiful, gorgeous steak right there. We're gonna leave that butter on the top. We're gonna scoop this dude up, just like so. We'll lay him on our plate. Same thing with this one. You gotta be careful, don't burn yourself. <laughs> All right, look at that. Oh, daddy, that looks good. Okay, we'll leave the grill on and let it burn all this off and we'll come back out and clean it later. Let's taste this steak. Oh, baby, I cannot wait. Look at that. So we let it rest for about two or three minutes here. Let some juices start to form. Let that steak start to relax and we're gonna cut into this dude right now. I can't, mm, my mouth is watering. Look at that. That don't make your mouth water, you just don't like meat. Now for you purists that like that medium rare, you can see we're releasing a little bit of blood into our juices right here, guys. So for you purists that wanna make sure it's medium rare or rare, there you go. Awesome, look at that. We'll go ahead and cut into uh, this little guy too. Let's just cut him right there. Look at that. That is nearly perfect that is a medium well i would say but potentially close to medium rare okay go ahead and cut this into a little slice and give it a try oh baby down the hatch mm. oh oh my goodness mm. the butter really sets it off mm. use real butter this is amish butter real butter so that's how you take the worst cut of meat and make it the best steak you've ever had in your mouth. Now, can you imagine how good it is when we put a good steak, like a New York strip or a ribeye or a T-bone in that sous vide and cook it? Mm. Guys, this is gonna change the way you cook steak. It will impress your wife, your family, your friends, 
your husband, whomever, it will impress them, guys. So that's how you cook a sous vide steak. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit today. That's how you take a cheap cut of meat and make it something delicious. Tomorrow, I'm gonna put a good cut of meat in there and make it something delicious. So guys, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back here. I'll post links to the Weber Q that we used here in the video today and to all the goodies that we used here today, the sous vide, everything, the container. So if you wanna try this at home, at your place, you can. Thanks a lot, guys, I appreciate it. I got some eating to do. <laughs> And I was getting a little bit hangry. It's about six o'clock in the evening. It's supper time. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next Food Friday video or on the next video this weekend. We got some awesome stuff coming. Hope to see you soon on the Stony Ridge Farm. Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Better than anything you get in a restaurant. Mmm. Most flavorful <laughs> is ribeyes, okay? And these are in, actually these aren't ribeyes, these are, uh, yeah, they're ribeyes. <laughs> Let's start over. Coffee, I just need coffee. I need coffee, everybody needs more coffee in their life, right? Cheers to the bloopers, to the yummy steak. Oh, that's good. All right, folks, we're in the farm kitchen. I'm gonna <laughs> four hour cook. Why am I burping? We'll see you guys in four hours. 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 Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm just a Stony Ridge farmer. I like to cook beans. I am hangry. <laughs> wow.